Speaking of stinky, 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 Chelsea. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Why do you hate Chelsea so much? I don't get it. <laughs> Chelsea obviously lost again. Am I... Are you guys going to apologise to me? About what? I, I, I'm, I, I'll say that your underperformance comment might stand He's true, but, right. but not the whole... You need to apologise to me. You can suck my dick, mate. That's Why not I happening. I will. You. <laughs> because in, in pre No, 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 no. No, no, no. Let me do that. Let me do that. All right, Newcastle, congratulations on finishing eighth this season. The reason... If the, we're ending the season now, then well done, Newcastle. I'm failing to qualify. The reason you need they need to apologise to me in the pre-season predictions... When we were talking about Pochettino, you said that you come in and hit the ground running. I said they needed more than a preseason to fix Chelsea's problems. No, no, no. And what have we point... seen? Chelsea have continued the bad form because they need more Colin than a preseason. Bowden, no, the, also, the main issue I'm having with that is you were adamant that Villa would finish above Chelsea, and yeah. now you're saying it's true. Yes, for the game week six of the Premier no, League I'm season. Say, I'm We've saying, only got 32 game weeks left. I said Aston Villa had one as well. No, no, no. I said Aston Villa had a better team than Chelsea, and also. they were finished above them. And Aston Villa do have a better team than Chelsea, and they're finishing above them currently. On paper, really. they don't. But I think, maybe I think actually, player for life. player, they don't. I think also, Chelsea have names and price tags. Not hang on, oh, hang on. Also, because we said that at a point where Nkunku was flying. Yeah. And you take pretty much the, the most creative and best player out of that team. It's going to be a struggle. What was your also there? I can't remember what to say about me. Go on. Um, they had served me. Apologize to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They need to apologize. I want to hear it. You were. You are. I, just, I, did, I want. To, you did it. I want to hear it from you. Hang on. You just are apologize. now. A real Wait. man would apologize. Wait, apologize. A real man would you apologize. You are right so now. At the Thank time, you. I don't Thank think you, you were. But I could see what was happening. Like I saw oh. Aston Villa finishing sixth last season. Good call. <laughs> They say didn't, sorry. But they he's he's a big enough mad to say sorry. But I want to hear it from you. Just I say sorry. sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Today's episode of Bitch Out brought to you by our friends, as always, over at Super 6. Super 6 is back, as always, with another 250 grand massive jackpot up for grabs. Now, if you don't know what Super 6 is, where have you been all of your life? It's a football prediction game which is completely free to play. All you've got to do is correctly guess six score lines in the Premier League, and you could walk away with a quarter of a million pounds. You can also compete against myself, Tom and Reeve, in the official pitch side mini league using the code PTCH23 to join. We'll also be giving a £100 classic football shirt voucher to the person who comes top of the league every single round. Uh, and make sure you do enter before the round starts to be eligible. Once you're in, it's super easy to play. Simply choose your six scores, enter golden goal, hit submit, and you are all set. For your free shot at winning £250,000, use the link in the description down below to sign up. On screen right now are the six fixtures that could change your life forever. Remember, as I said, it's a free shot winning £250,000, so you may as well get involved. Follow the link in the description down below to sign up now. I'm sorry, you are the do you think, oracle. Do you think they can turn it around then? No. <laughs> you honestly think it's done, Chelsea done? Potentially, yeah. What I mean, I think thing but, 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 but if they start to turn around, it'll be January, and by that time, I think it'll be too late. Yeah, but I, was, and I reckon they finish like eighth or ninth. Didn't both of you put so them that, like fifth, yeah, I did, fifth and that, fourth in the league? Yeah, I did. But if you, at the start of the season, you you look at that squad and they had no injuries. But now which is what we on. said. That's all we had to base it on. That's the exact time frame. Yeah, you that shouldn't apologise to him. You should only. Yeah, no, I'm not. Yes, they should. About the Pochettino thing, you should. Pochettino. He is a good manager. No, I never said he isn't. I said he needed more than a pre-season, and you thought I was ridiculous for thinking he couldn't do it that quickly. He lost their best player. Mate, they bought like 15 players, man, and a billion quid. They should be <laughs> higher think, than 14. Do you think... I if, do agree with you on that. Do you think if, let's say, Bruno G or... Who's, who's the most influential player? It's not in the same. Country? We spoke about it this last the week. Same. They spent a billion. We haven't got that many good players. We haven't got that kind yeah, of money but, to but spend. You, injuries to the most important <laughs> players are more... But their, their depth that they have because of their billion pound spent on a team that was already better as standard than Newcastle's. Yeah, he's right. They have so much more to work with. There's no excuse. Common Bowden W, man. Yeah, he's right. I, hey. I, I, I completely agree with you, mate. Do you, know, do you know mainly because of De Zerbe and Brighton? It doesn't affect them if they have players out or lose players. It, they, do you know what's crazy? That's a proper coach and a proper... Chelsea have only system. won two games since sacking Graham Potter. <laughs> Also, and that's against Jesus. Bournemouth and Luton. Jeez. This year, Leicester have more Premier League goals than Chelsea, and they're playing in the Championship. <laughs> <laughs> this year, yeah, yeah. twenty twenty. I see what you mean. Yeah, Jeez. I mean they, they're even getting cooked by Domino's on what? Twitter. Have you seen that? <laughs> <Domino's>. <laughs> we seen that? We, we, their, their tweet was like, "We've delivered eight hundred and sixty thousand pizzas since Chelsea last scored a goal." How many? Eight hundred sixty thousand. Oh fuck it! And half of them are Theo. <laughs> <laughs> If we do the math, yeah, 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 half, of them double, <laughs> half of them are double decked as pepperoni. Wait, wait, when, did, <laughs> when did they last uh, score a goal? How many months ago? Fuck, oh, I don't Is it how many pieces that? 800? No, no, no. When the last score a goal? What are you uh, score a goal would have been like 850,000 pieces. Yeah, Luton. How many weeks ago was that? 
Three weeks ago? Two weeks ago? Prior to the international break. So against I'm saying yeah. average dominoes of £40, they've made 34 million quid in two weeks. <laughs> Bro, dominoes? That's, that's one third of Caicedo. <laughs> Holy shit, man. I should invest in dominoes. <laughs> Although, <laughs> they did miss some good yeah, chances. They did miss some good chances. Enzo yeah. missed a, a really, like, he didn't even hit the target. You see Jackson the one as well. Can I just like, say a very, a, a, a very nice pass from Mudrick. Uh, it was, <laughs> yeah, actually, he was a nice really good fan. Also, Jackson's now suspended, and so is Gusto. He, I, yeah. I can't believe he's got five yellow cards. <laughs> he's, 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 he's played six games, he's got five yellows, and then the other game where he didn't get a yellow, he got a goal. <laughs> it might do him a favour because. bookings <laughs> and goals. <laughs> Yeah, by, by, by five. five. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a thing. No, he's got the same amount of suspensions as goals. I can't even pinpoint anything because uh, is it Poch? I it's don't know. All going wrong. It's not even like man. No, I can't tell me see, they haven't got the quality. You can see where either. they're going wrong. <laughs> like that, it's all just going like wrong. You see moments like that Mudrick yeah. pass, like the Jackson run. There's there is moments. Yeah, yeah, and then. And and then like just Jackson scoring, uh, um, <laughs> skying it from two yards out against Nottingham Forest. Yeah. That's a point. No. That becomes Chilwell. The Chilwell the missing a one-on-one. Yeah, one. Chilwell deciding to pass instead yeah, of shoot. Yeah, in that other week. Like, yeah. What do you got your amount of signings? It's like when you get all these players but they together, also get no rid consistency. Of players as well. they not, have, it's not like they've got a massive squad. You look say at that though, but if you look at, I don't think they're, like, towards the end of last season, their starting eleven is not that vastly different. I, I, is it I also disagree. I also completely disagree. Because consistency isn't a thing if, like Tom said, the manager... What knows what he's doing. Brighton have made so many changes this year and it doesn't matter who's playing, mm -hmm. they still I, get results. I think that's built There's up over no time. There's no identity it's like, it's like It's like, it's like, Pep. No <laughs> like Pep has that solid team and the, the, he'll never sign like five players in. He'll just slowly no, get no, like no. one or two a season. I think they you need literally just sign five players, but okay. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> but the, the difference is Pep, Pep signs and Brighton will sign a certain profile like yeah. Matthias Nunes so he can just slide in. Yeah. Slide in. Chelsea no. have a uh, Chelsea Bowley just go charge. him, 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 I know he does technically get the ball first but he's always it's like Nketiah was very close to getting a red card as well see I don't think that is I don't think Enketi is his. I think that a yellow's fair. Well, I mean, if if he snapped his leg, then it becomes. It's red, getting to the right? point where like hard fouls are just given a card. Like, oh, who plays? Just because you break someone's leg, it's a red. How did Chelsea, like Chelsea? What do they do now? With no, no, but that's that's the way that referees work, right? Depending on <laughs> mate, well, you do realize outcome Chelsea right? now have no goose through, no Nicholas Jackson. Like, who's playing for Chelsea? <laughs> and no Reese James, and no. no Reece, like, when's Reese James back? I think I don't know, man. Who plays up front for Chelsea now? Sterling, maybe. Actually, who is the Brozier? Brozier. Brozier's back. Brozier. Yeah, Brozier. 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 He'll oh, score. I don't mind. He'll score. He'll score. He'll score. Oh, and, then he'll, exactly. and then he'll get game time and Jackson have to work his way back. Yeah, and then he'll he'll continue to score and continue to get game time until Nicholas Jackson comes back. <laughs> and they'll put him straight back in the team and he can, won't score. And then Brozier will be like, why have you been? <laughs> I don't, and then get uh, five more yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I, I get Yeah, I don't think they performed terribly yesterday. It's just, yeah, they need... I thought the Luton was their turning point, honestly. I know it's Luton, but... Yeah, they just they seem to just get worse. Well, the everyone? question, which is all over social media at the moment, is: Are they in a relegation battle? No. <laughs> are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Why not? They are far. They, there, there's, there's at least so ten teams, teams worse than Chelsea. So it's worse. just a stupid conversation to even have. This is why they weren't in a relegation battle last year, even though everyone made the joke about them being so close. Or Arsenal were when they had that spell there's, under there's, okay, there's at least five teams that are worse this? than them, and only three go down. How about this? They are only four points away. Did they finish below where they finished last season? Where did they finish? 12th? Yeah. No, that's Potentially. No, I don't think so. I think, I think, they, I think they might, man. You are? Potentially. Pochettino probably just gets sacked, doesn't he? Like, really? no one thought they would have finished 12th last year. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think it's just gets, it could get bad from worse to worse to burst to 10th. No, they're a better team this season, for sure. <laughs> they're creating the they chances. Are. They actually are creating the chances, whereas last year they just didn't do that. They just but need to finish. The problem is that the, the curse is still existent. <laughs> kind of yeah how will they possibly score with the curse yeah, it, maybe it never lifts I actually think Chelsea are worse than people realise I think it might just continue in snowball because Pochettino goes half yeah, through the year from the teams that are actually going to get relegated you <laughs> like, can you actually imagine yeah Poch gets fired and Chelsea actually get relegated it's not going to happen can you imagine what does Poch get sacked this what season happened? what happened potentially that's more realistic than Chelsea think, going down I, though I think what happens wait until January what happens if Chelsea actually get relegated That'll be the biggest be team playing, in history. They'll be to playing ever get in the championship. No, Would that, that be actually happens? Like, does Bowley just sack it off? Uh, you're in your own lads. Would that be like crazier than Leicester winning the league? Chelsea getting relegated with a billion pound squad? Probably, yeah. Oh, I, I think it. Yeah, I think it's tired. Mate, it's Leicester were this promoted still a side. Nah. Nah. It's still a whole season. I oh, know, but that, you have to you have to beat 
19 other teams, amazing to, what, to win it. But you only have to Lef be the no, no, no. But but the, also, down, in the Leicester, have to the Leicester thing, they, they they won a league where teams were, were pretty bad and underperforming. Chelsea are in a in a also league take where away from the Leicester win. Though. There's a lot of no, of course. No, I, I think Leicester's is still bigger and better. Well, I, I don't know. It's a lot quick. harder to be the best team in the Premier League than one of the worst. Let us know what I your thoughts I agree, are. I agree, but people and people said Chelsea Leicester were going to finish. City. People said Chelsea were going to finish fourth. So yeah, they who said that? So that's a that, so that's at least a what fourteen place discrepancy. Whereas when Leicester won the league, they were favourites to go down, though, weren't they? When Leicester won the yeah. league, they'd only just stayed. They were, yeah, they, 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 they survived favorite. with Ranieri. Yeah, so yeah. that's at least a uh, seventeen place. Discrepancy. I don't think they were favourites to go so down. So based on your discrepancies, the, the, they were. They were five thousand one. They were the most. They were the biggest. Oh yeah, yeah. You could be right. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Guys, let us know in the comments down below it's from Leicester what do you well. think is would be bigger: Chelsea going down or Leicester winning the league? It's got to be Leicester, surely. I'm an interest. That's an interesting one. Hey, I don't even think that's close. Uh, 